Fishing Canada show is brought to you in part by MyOutdoorTV.com, outdoor television on the internet. Stearns, the life jacket experts. The rocket fishing rod. And RadioWorld.ca. Together we'll go fishing On last week's program, Ange, Pete, and I set out on one of the most amazing trout fishing adventures we'd ever been on. Our main quarry was Coaster Brook Trout, but as you'll see in this episode, we were game for just about anything. As you may recall from last week, we met Gary Lang of Bowman Island Charters in the Nipigon Harbor and then set out on the long voyage to Bowman Island Lodge. The beauty of this trip is the availability of great fishing on the trek all the way out there. Pete and I started things off by fishing a small incoming creek that dumps into the Nipigon River. We were hoping for brookies, but were pleasantly surprised with what we encountered. Got him, buddy. Whoa, he's coming out. <laughs> Look at that thing coming out. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Nasty. That's a little nasty. Oh, that's a rainbow, yeah, it's a chunky one. Rainbow. It's like a real solid, maybe a female fish. Good one. Oh, look, at that. look at the mark on that. That one's been beat up a few times by the look of it, huh? Oh, turn around on us, easy baby. We'll throw you back in a second. If you just so show your that. belly, there it is, right there. Just turn, you had to turn for the camera, that's all. Wow, that's scarred up good. That fish, obviously, that's not going to uh, oh, no, kill that, that fish. That'll heal over and that fish will be. Yeah. I mean, who knows how long ago that was. Exactly. Begin with. I think lampreys are part of life for these fish in this area. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Now, you want to see what kind of a mess he made of my hook, by the way? Whoa! How do you like that? That's a strong fish. <laughs> are they strong? Wow. Wow. That ain't no bottom. <laughs> what, it came off and you got a fish? Oh! oh, what a jump. Hey, that's a male. That's a male. He came up four feet. I have not oh. seen that in a long time, Mr. <laughs> He almost jumped in the boat. <laughs> That's a big buck. He's got a real big kite on him. Oh, man. Yeah, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice fish. What a ripper. Oh, you're going that back this way. just about jumped out of the boat, or into the boat. Isn't that great? That he's was got, Now, he's got that characteristic yep. bright rainbow yep. red on him. That looks like that. a rainbow trout right there, doesn't oh, it? Oh, that yeah. is oh. fantastic. Oh, look at the color of that fish. Isn't that gorgeous? He's not that big, he's just perfect. No, he's just a perfect, perfect male fish. Yeah. Oh. oh, don't tangle up, buddy. Don't twist on us. Yeah, I'll put the net down, you bring yeah. him in. Yeah, oh, baby. That is beautiful. Buddy, what a good looking that fish. Is. That is. See, that, see that kite developing there? Yep. Yeah, he's got full kite down here. Yep. Developing kite, yep. at least. That should pop right out. You got players right beside you if you need them. Good stuff. Let me see if I can do something. Another one under the belly. Look at that. My God. That is, that is a rainbow trout right there. That Steelhead. Is beautiful. Gorgeous fish. Off you go. <laughs> On a buck. Give me that buck deal. Let me look at that. That's what caught that fish. Traditionally a walleye jig. At, I mean, I say traditionally, almost predominantly yeah. bucktail yeah. associated with walleye fishing. Yeah. After a great warm-up on the steelhead, we tied the Prince Craft back up to the Annika Lee, had a coffee, read over the hydrographic charts, and steamed on to the next location. This may be the most unique style of run-and-gun fishing that we've ever done. Although the running is slow, the gunning is rapid fire. You were saying earlier on that as a kid, yeah. you spent countless yeah. hours. Yeah, come out every weekend. So you'd come from up here, yeah. all the way down through, yeah. 
to Bowman Island. Yeah, and then a lot of times in the fog, dead wrecking with a hand compass. <laughs> wow! Yeah. That's exciting. Now that's an adventure. Oh, yeah. Just looking at that. I mean, it's not that far, but you and look at it on the map, and it's almost overwhelming. Yeah, that a very kid little, little places. So you're, you know, you're, you're carrying your uh, your uh, tent with you and all your supplies and 30 gallons of gas because those motors were such gas guzzlers back then. There's a series of islands in the vicinity of Bowman Island Lodge, all with the potential of holding a giant coaster. The key is to find shallow areas of rubble or boulders and then not be afraid to cast into them. So when did the slot limit come into effect? Hmm. I think it started about 19 inches about 10 years ago, and then they moved it to 20, and then now they've moved it to 22. So 22 being, so anything that is over 22 you're inches allowed to in keep length, one. you're allowed to keep one. Yeah. Anything under 22? Goes back. Goes back. Yeah. So you're allowed to keep one fish over 22. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. I think last year I had three part people keep them, and I think two of them were kept because they were gilled. They, gilled, they, yeah. were, de they were dead anyway. So that's all the fish that a person can keep when they come in? For, for specs, yeah. For specs, that's and fantastic. And you know, promoting the live release on everything. But that's fantastic. And I find, you know, we've, we've been to our barbs. It's not barbless out here, like Nibikin is, and I don't know why they haven't changed it to barbless, because you don't, you know, you don't lose any more fish. No, we're not at all. Not at all. Anybody says they lose fish because of, you know, they're lack not, of barbs. Well, they don't know how to fish that. Something's not right, <laughs> you know. They're horsey. You were going to lose, a, you were gonna lose, gonna lose that fish anyway. with or without a barb, exactly. you know? Exactly. According to legend, Lake Superior never gives up her dead. That's due to the frigid annual temperatures. Normally, bacteria feeding on a sunken, decayed body will generate gas inside that body, causing it to float to the surface after just a few days. But the water in Lake Superior is so cold year-round that it actually inhibits bacterial growth, and bodies tend to sink and never surface. This is alluded to in Gordon Lightfoot's The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. No crew members were ever recovered. The Fitzgerald got swallowed up so intensely by Lake Superior that the 700 plus foot ship actually split in half. Its two pieces are still sitting in approximately 550 feet of this ghostly abyss. Lake Superior is the largest of the five Great Lakes in North America. It is bounded to the north by Ontario and Minnesota, and to the south by Wisconsin and Michigan. It is the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area, and the world's third largest freshwater lake by volume. Lake Superior has a surface area of over 31,000 square miles, and is actually larger than the state of South Carolina. If you were to drain Lake Superior, it would cover North and South America with over a foot of water. I hope I can reach those fish out there. A lot of guys will come in and just fish like to the seven, eight foot break. Meanwhile, three, four feet of water right here off the side of these creeks. <whistles> stacked with trout, like right there. That's the cast right there. There's one. There's one. Oh, it's a little, it's a, it, it was like this big. It was a little head shaker. <laughs> it's a good sign though. First cast into the rapids there. I'm not a huge shore fishing fan. I mean, I grew up shore fishing and you know, bass fishing kind of stole my heart. But uh, to come up here, and, uh, this is, just as good as any fishing I've ever done. It beats uh, standing shoulder to shoulder and all the public creeks in that in southern Ontario. I mean, you can go up to Perry Sound or you know, off Georgian Bay and, and get some nice trout streams, but when you got a chance of catching giant brook trout, it, it well worth the trip up here. A lot of guys, uh, I mean, if you have your own boat, you could come out on a nice day or whatever, but uh, to get towed out here and dropped off, miles, I think we're about 30 miles from the town of Nipigon, and uh, we're just fishing the, the coast of St. Ignace Island. And it's got rivers all over it. And the mouth of these rivers, there's trout like you've never seen before. I got one. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Baby. 
come here, baby. Oh, nice turn. <laughs> come here, girl. Here, mine. It's about time. Look at this. It is a brookie. Come here. Come here. Nice brook trout. Awesome brook trout. <laughs> Gorgeous little fish. Just hang with me here, baby. Look at that. A little piece of metal right there. Green, silver. And that's what you come up here for, is these coaster brook trout. They swim the coast of these islands. Um, yeah, probably the best, one of the best places in the world. Let's go. Let's go. See you later, girl. You gotta go this way. This way. You got a funny looking eye there. Go on. That's it. Yes. No, I mean, that's, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna say a two or three pound brookie. Um, most people uh, don't get a chance in their lives to catch a brook trout that big. You know, you go out west, some guys will go out west, uh, in the United States, northern Quebec, but uh, a couple hours from Thunder Bay, you can fly here, hop on a boat, or you can get someone to drop you off on shore of the islands and you just fish these little incoming rivers and uh, it's world class. I mean, I'm spoiled right now. There's one. Oh, nice one. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, look at that jump. You just missed it. Oh my God, it's huge. If this is a brook trout, I'm talking 12 to 14 pounds. I don't know. Could be a record. It's huge. This is crazy fishing here on these rocks. Oh my God, you got to see the size of this thing. I just, it just jumped right out of the water. Heading over here, it's gone. It's running up the bank. <laughs> Easy girl. Oh. <laughs> Look at this thing, he's heading up the coast. <laughs> oh, please be a big giant brook trout. The one thing about here, I mean, this, this is pretty big. Whoa, see that? It's right there. It's just right here. Is, uh, you do get steelhead in here. Um, I don't know, I don't think they're running up these rivers to spawn. They might spawn at the mouth, but... Notoriously, this is where those big coaster brook trout are. I can't even, I haven't even seen this fish except for here it comes, here it comes, it's right here in front of us. It's dark, it might be a big brookie. <laughs> oh, I see this silver tail. I think it's a boat, yeah, it's a nice rainbow. Come this way, baby. Here she comes, here she comes. Oh. <laughs> Look at this fish. I thought it was a big brook. I thought it was a big brook coat. This steelhead. And it does not want to come in. That's a girl. That's a girl. Look at this. Look at this. You're getting a fight right in front of you. Ah. In the net. Oh. Look at the side of that fish. It's all scarred up, but maybe it was spawning up here. Set that down. Look at the pink hue to that skin. What an awesome fish. Oh, wow. I got her good. Look at that, just a little silver spoon cast off the shore and you get, that's your result right there. Nice steelhead. And now this fish has spawned out. If you look here at the, above the anal fin there, how pink it is. So it's released its eggs uh, recently. That's why it's so skinny. Nice rainbow trout. Lake Superior, <laughs> you are incredible. Go on, see you later. Oh, that was awesome. Look at it snaking away there. It just drilled that spoon, boom. And it jumped out of the water. I wish, I wish uh, you could have seen that because it, it flopped nicely. It did a 180 in the air. Wow. Oh, for a minute there, I thought that was the biggest brook trout of my life. Although it may look like Mikey scored in the weather department, Ange and I were much better off with our overcast skies. Brookies can deal with the sunshine in current situations. However, when they roam calm, clear waters, it's a whole different story. Well, there's a brookie, Ange. Is it a brookie? It's a brookie. It's a nice one. I thought it was a rainbow. 
Are you sure? I'm telling you, I saw some big spots on his tail. He's got a big square tail. A big square tail? Yeah, that's a brook. That's a brook. Him is now it's real tight. Okay, let's try to get him Oh, stay up. That was great. <laughs> he came back oh, at her. Oh, he ever that's a good sign. Oh, man. You know what? He's not pulling that hard, but he's squirrely. Yeah. Yeah, tough. Fit. Now he's now he's rolling the death roll here. Let's see if I can scoop him up with it. There you go. Get up, oh, boy. Oh, nice. This First coaster. Day. Yes. A coaster. Look at him spin. Wow. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Now, 22 is the uh, would be a keeper. Slot yeah. yeah, 22, keep 22 and over would be a keeper. He's not 22. Yeah, so this would be. So they're releasing all fish this size, right? Yeah. I don't know why you'd want to keep a speck that big anyway. I have no idea. <laughs> Gorgeous looking fish. Pale though, huh? Yeah. Kind of like the bottom here, all real clay, murky looking. Oh. Mm. Got 100 miles an hour. Oh, that was beautiful. That fish followed. Oh, I thought it was a rainbow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it no followed I, and it paused the bait. And I think lucky the bait suspends. The one little twist and he's right beside the boat. Wow. That's probably what it hit you. Yep. Yeah. A little bit farther out. Yeah, I just had a hit weird little hit. Oh, fantastic. Lake Superior was now starting to rear its potentially ugly head. The winds were building up speed and the water starting to get choppy. But the good thing about fishing the top end of Superior is that you can always find an island or a cove to find some protected waters. He, he, that's a nice he's fish. He's a bit like a walleye bite. Did he? Swam with it. he swam with it and I felt some resistance. I thought I had a piece of weed or something. Oh, that's there. nice. That is a nice brookie, buddy. Whoa. Let me see the river. Yeah. yeah, you can see it. Drag him in. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice oh. one. Oh. That's what we came Gorgeous. for. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's a point of stack of fish. It is. <laughs> We just it got is. here and we were going to start, we were recommended to start down there. The next point is, let's go up there, we'll just try it. You know you want an answer, I know I want it. Oh yeah, as soon as you see that point, how can you resist it? We said, yep, look at it happen. Oh, okay, let's start with mouth. <laughs> Man, casting crankers to the most gorgeous fish in this earth, I think. That is nice. I mean, those are a brown trout, I don't know which is prettier, but... And you know what, they're pretty, they're a pretty hardy little fish. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's gonna go. He just he's just taking a break. Oh, he fought hard. That thing fought like crazy. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. Ah, <laughs> good one. This is fun. This is extremely fun. You may be thinking this coaster brook trout fishing is all about finesse, right? Uh-uh. For instance, Anne's decided to tie on a five inch hard jerk bait that you normally use for bass, walleye, or even pike. Now this bait is not normally associated for brook trout, but out here, anything right. goes. <laughs> it's alive. What do we got? Rip it? I don't know, man. I couldn't get a look at him. It's so look at that it's tail. alive, that's all I know. Got some red on those fins. That's oh, that's a rookie. That's a nice rookie. He's fighting, fighting like a rookie. Yeah, baby. I think that's a square tail, I see. Yep, it oh, is too. It is too. <laughs> Nail, I think. I love them when they get that red yeah. on those fins, the bright red. Yeah. Bring it over a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. a big too. That's a big high five. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is right what we're coming for. That's right a there, coaster. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, get a grip on that tail and you should be good. Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> that is it right there, dude. Nice that job. beautiful? Nice job. Lake Superior Coasters. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that tail open if he doesn't fly. He's being nice right now. See that square tail? That is something else, man. Give me a look here, bud. Nice. Thank you. Okay, he's going home. Not a mark on him either. Oh, buddy, okay. that is a perfect, absolutely pristine, perfect fish. Way up on the rocks too. Yeah, eh? yeah, he was shallow. Right where they're supposed to be. Okay, buddy. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> fish in Canada hotspots. The ultimate fishing guide presents getting there. 
Today's hot spot is just off the shores of Paradise Island, very close to Bowman Island Lodge. The waypoint on the screen will take you right there. Now, although typical spec baits like small spoons and spinners will work, think outside of the box and upsize your lure. Big baits, big fish. To get to this amazing Lake Superior trout fishery, we first drove north on Highway 400 to 69, and then took Highway 17 west all the way to the town of Nipigon. From there, we met Gary Lang at the Nipigon Marina and made the long steam to Bowman Island Lodge. Visit FishingCanada.com for more details. Fish in Canada was brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company. Muscal, serious bug protection. Prince Craft Boats, the more you know, the better we look. And Mercury, number one on the water. Closed captioning provided by Ontario Tourism. Go fish in Ontario.com. For more Fish in Canada, visit fishincanada.com.